for this is Philly Cheesesteak here inside of The Wolf Among Us. Today I'm doing all of the missing fables inside episodes 1 through 5 of The Wolf Among Us. Now, you may be wondering why. Well, because I can and plus it's a missable guide, so there. So what we're going to be using is what's known as a, a two save files. One for your preferred save and one for your rewind saves to pick up any of the missing fables. Now that we've established that, we're going to go on over into chapter 1. Uh, episode 1, actually. Faith. Uh, this, there's two in this one. First one, I've sped through this quite quickly. Uh, proceed as you normally would, uh, and soon into the uh, into this, you're going to encounter uh, Grendel. Grendel, Grendel, it's whoever the hell that guy is. Anyway, you're gonna get in this huge ass fight, uh, do stuff, and then at the very end, you're gonna get the choice to tear his arm off or walk away. Now, pick the one, obviously the first one. That's gonna be the one that you will continue onward with. No matter which one you choose, you're going to get a uh, Book of Fables entry. In this case, I did not rip his arm off. Now, we're going to go redo this entire section and get, uh, again um, through Rewind. Of course, using that second save file. And once we get to the final part here, we're going to tear his arm off. Which, honestly, is, to be honest, pretty gruesome. But, hey, it's a video game. What you gonna do? So anyway, once you make some witty quip about playing fetch, oddly enough, uh, you know, whip it over in the corner, and then soon after this, the achievement will unlock. And, uh, there it is. And remember, most of these uses for the missing fables, not exactly for the, um, the other fables, due to the fact that those are progressible, and those will happen no matter what. But, that being said, this is number one. This is Novice Librarian. That is episode one complete. Episode two, we are inside Smoke and Mirrors. Uh, for this one, there are a couple of them. The big primary one is actually just three of them. The big primary one is when you interrogate the guy you captured, please note that your results will be different. Because you may, or may choose the Woodsman, you may choose uh, uh, Tweedledee or Dumb, whichever, guy, whichever one this guy is. So that being said... Uh, you'll want to choose either treating him nicely or treating him like a piece of shit. Like you probably do want to do. But once you do, you're going to get uh, basically sock blue, uh, blue beard in the face and you'll get the next uh, uh, Book of Fables entry. So that's the first way to do this. Now, redoing this in my personal second save, uh, just punch him a bunch. As long as you punch him once, at least once... That will earn you the secondary, uh, the secondary fable. So note that as you are, uh, as you are playing, that if you, it's like even there, I didn't punch him, I didn't burn him with a cigar, I just blew the smoke in his face. But yet the book of fables still, uh, still unlocked for, I believe it was Crane. So once you do that, we're going to go into the main office here. We're going to go through a bunch of dialogue. We're going to question Junior here. I I forget his name, Toad's son, whoever he is. Uh, Junior, anyway, you're gonna do a bunch of questioning, more questioning, even more questioning. This is sped up many, many, many times. That's why this video is so long. Actually, the original raw file footage is, uh, is that uh, was about an hour and a half long. So, stay behind in the office, talk to the mirror, and once you do, you'll earn another book of fables. Now, because I did this not at the end of the game, uh, once I talk to Nerissa at the very end of the, um, once I talk to Nerissa at the very end, that is actually when the uh, last book of fables will finally unlock. Uh, do what you can, do what you want to do. Um, again, just pay attention to what you're doing, and the achievement will be yours in actually a very short amount of time. Luckily, though, I timed this perfectly, and you know. Don't have to put a block on this. Yay. Anyway, there's the last book of fables for chapter th uh, chapter 2. I was about to say chapter 3 because that would have been completely wrong. That's Apprentice Librarian. Huzzah. That's one less achievement to hunt. Am I right? Yes. Yes, it is. Anywho, moving on. Uh, let's give it a second here. Some of this stuff takes forever to load. Anyway, that's Apprentice Librarian. 60 gamer score. Moving on to episode three, a crooked mile. There is uh, a good three in here. 
Uh, first, when you get to the bridge, what we're going to want to do is not interrupt. Just let her speak. Come over to this table, read the cards, uh, because that is actually where it is. You actually find it in this card right here. Uh, so once that appears, then uh, you just proceed from there. Then when you get to the choice of who you want to visit first, choose um, either – choose Crane's uh, apartment first due to the fact that one of the items that shows up in a later scene, which we will be getting to in a few minutes, that actually will um, – that actually will appear. So look at the Headless Horseman statue. You'll actually find this when you walk into the main part of this room. Once you do, just view it and Book of Fable un unlocked. Then when you get to this part right here, uh, where to go next, go to D&D's Dumb's office, even though there technically is nothing there because you have to talk to a specific person. And that specific person is the Flycatcher, otherwise known as the Frog Prince, oddly enough. So anyway, what we're going to do is talk to him, talk to him some more. And once we get towards the uh, very end here, uh, you can offer him a job indirectly or directly. I told him that he could. Oh, let's talk to Snow. And yet, that still unlocks the Book of Fables. Even if you tell him no, it still unlocks as long as you come to this location first or second. Now, later on, when we get to uh, Auntie Greenleaf, uh, you have two options here. Either burn a tree or don't burn a tree. Now, we're going to go through a bunch of this, uh, this cutscene stuff. And as soon as we do, the first thing I did for me personally is I left it alone and I left. So doing that... Uh, going back through another playthrough, I then uh, burned it the second time around due to, well, I need the Book of Fable. Now, once you do that, though, you will not get the achievements for some weird reason. Actually, I think it was due to an error on Xbox Live. It should have spawned right away, but hey, it happens. But anyway, there is Journeyman Librarian. We're almost done here, people. Two more episodes. Hang on. We're almost done. All right, moving on to episode four, we have In Sheep's Clothing. Uh, first one up is we're going to either want to go to the Lucky Pond or we're going to go to the Butcher Shop. This is an either or. You cannot get both. So that means you have to replay the, the entirety of Episode 2 to get this. Now, personally, I went to the Butcher Shop first. Now, the fortunate thing with this one, all you have to do is just play through this entire thing. Play your choices however you want. Uh, this one is not prompt specific, which is honestly a good thing. But once you do... Uh, complete this. Give it a second here. But once we do, we will get a prompt here saying, "Book of fa uh, the Fables entry has been unlocked. It's for the butcher there. You know, the butcher, baker, or baker candlestick maker. You know which guys I'm talking about in terms of the mythos. Next up, we're going to reload chapter two, complete all the dialogue. We're going to go to the butcher shop. Not the butcher shop. Sorry, the pawn shop. Now, once we get to the pawn shop, we're going to go through all of this. I sped this up 32 times. I honestly should have done this for a lot of the cutscenes, but hey, it's a lot of dialogue. All you have to do is convince Jack to let you look around. Once you do, come to the pincushion and view it. This is the only book of fables in this area. Now, as you know, if you go to the other place, you will end up here, but you can't look around first because Jersey will be there arguing with the woodsmen. I have a f strange feeling I should probably say spoiler alert, but then part of me says because this has been out for several months, don't really need it. But anyway, once we view that pincushion, because I've already completed the rest of the game or at least this chapter, the achievement will unlock for Master Librarian, and that takes care of that. Now, in Episode 5, Cry Wolf, uh, this one is prompt specific. When we get to this specific part on the freeway, uh, we're going to, of course, do more prompting stuff. Um, this actually is depending on where you target. Now, what we want to do is target the right-hand car. This is Georgie's and Vivian's car. We want to land on this one. If we land on the other one, we skip almost straight to the end. So we want to jump on here first. Ride through the rest of this, blah, blah, blah. And please note that this next section is prompt specific. Listen first and then approach. That is the big thing for this first part here. Now, we want to answer the prompts as follows. Um... It's like basically all the logic, uh, like kindness logic related ones. Um, why would you do that? Uh, how could you? Something like that. It was the why prompt there. Uh, you can slow it down if you need to, but I should have actually slowed this down. But hey, hindsight, don't want to make this over 15 minutes, otherwise you wouldn't want to do it. Pick the B prompt there. Uh, Vivian will remember that. Um, B prompt again. 
I can't exactly remember what it is, but just trust me on this. Then, uh, we're gonna pick the, uh, basically what you're gonna say here is Jesus. As a B prompt again. And basically, that will spawn our first Book of Fables entry for this section. Now for this next one, we have to walk away. Basically, say whatever you want to Georgie, but do not end him. You walk away. I'm serious. That's all you do. The funny thing is, Georgie will remember that? No, he won't. He's fucking dead. He's very, very, very dead. So once we do that, pick B. You chose to let Georgie shuffle... I can't speak. So you chose to let him suffer, and then we just walk right out the door. And as soon as you get outside the door, the book, the entry will unlock. Now, lastly, this is the last one, uh, last secret one. Once we view this table with the silver bullets, we're gonna get into a minor scuffle with uh, Miss Mary. Not quite contrary, the bloody out. one. No pun intended. Once we get here, pick the X prompt, cut the shit. Then basically he'll she'll make a very bad yo mama joke, or at least the fable equivalent of a yo mama joke. Once we do that though, um, basically last book of fables entry will unlock that is a uh, secret. And once we complete the le rest of the mission, once everyone gets shipped off to the farm, who needs to get shipped off, Grandmaster Librarian will unlock. And there you go, that is the last achievement for this video. If you've done this or followed this, you should have. 100% of all the achievements in the game. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And as always, have a great and beautiful day. And I will see you guys all next time in whatever game you view on my channel next.